as you guys, as you know, we've played a lot of teams that are ranked, and we've beaten a lot of teams that are ranked, highly ranked. And going into those games, we're always saying, man, these guys ain't nothing. Rankings don't mean anything. You know, we play some of these teams, we're like, who have they played? They, this is garbage. There's bad ranking, you know, and then we go and we beat them. So I, I personally, if you're asking me personally, no, I don't I don't think it's a distraction because it's so sometimes those those numbers can be inflated when we play other teams. So why should we why should we, you know, we should we should look past them. So now you're the team that is ranked in the UTSAs of the world and the Houston's and Western Kentucky's and Texas States are now looking at BYU as, oh, look who they've played. We can handle those guys. You know you're going to get everyone's best shot. How do you prepare for that mentally? Um, yeah, I think uh, there actually, there's, I don't think there's that big of a difference going in when we were walking into Wisconsin and when we're walking into Houston. Um, from the outside perspective, you're like, oh, now these guys are the underdogs and they're the overdogs or they're the overdog and they're the underdog. Uh, with this team and with, with these guys, and I can speak especially for the defensive line, um, we, walk into, we walk into each game you know, with the same mindset and the same mentality. We're always the overdog no matter what the outside people say. We're really, I mean, we're, we're a bad group of guys. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if that answers your question or not, but. Hey, you, you play with the favorite mentality. I, I like that. Um, at Houston this Friday, and you'll be playing in front of fans for the first time this season. 25% capacity in a brand new stadium, so 10,000-ish fans. I imagine a few BYU fans are going to sneak in there. What are you anticipating with the crowd on Friday night? Yeah, it's going to be great. I think I think the whole team's excited for it. I think it's going to be a really good, great thing. I served my mission in Dallas a lot of these guys served in Houston. So we've we've been down there. We've lived we've lived down there. We got a lot of friends there. I think I think people's families that can go are going to want to go because they haven't been able to. So you're going to see a lot of blue hopefully. Uh, I think I think you'll be surprised. But it's going to be it's going to be a great time. I mean there's nothing there's nothing like here in the crowd and it's going to be a really good addition I think to to our to our victory. BYU has seemed to thrive in road environments. Um when the crowd is especially hostile. Why is that? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, it could be a culture thing, but uh, I mean, if you look at, you look at where some of these guys have come from uh, and you look at some of the guys on the team uh, and, and we kind of, we kind of like, we kind of crave that, like uh, that mentality of like, we'll prove you wrong and we'll, we'll overcome. Uh, if you, I mean, if you look at the story of the church, that's been the whole story, right? Just overcome the next obstacle, the next army, the next whatever they send at us. Um, yeah, I think we play really well because it's exciting. Some some people, um, when they come to a they come to something that's like hard in their life, there's the same uh, like anticipation and like being nervous is the exact same feeling as being excited. Like your body feels it the exact same way. It's just about how your mind interprets it. It's like if your mind interprets it one way, then you're excited, and if it interprets it the other way, then you're nervous. But it's the same feeling. And and these players on this team, and you you know that you see us, you see us play all the time. We we choose the other way. We're always excited to have a have a challenge. The bigger, the better, the 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 meaner, the uglier, whatever. We we enjoy that. Sports psychology one oh one with Bracken L. Bakri <laughs> on BYU Sports Nation. Yeah, man, let's keep this thing rolling. Um, Houston has a lot of speed, a lot of athleticism. They turned the ball over five times and still scored forty nine points yes. in their season opening win against Tulane. Yes, what concerns they did. you most about the Cougars in red on Friday night? Are they? Is that their their models? Their or their mascots? The Cougar, as well. They're they're the Cougars. They just wear red. You're kidding me. I didn't. I actually did not know that. Um, man, in Little League, we used to like really care about the mascots. You remember that? It was like <laughs> like it really mattered who their mat. It's like, come on, Tigers eat horses. We should win this game. Like it should. It shouldn't matter. But I just remember when literally it was like the most important thing. I go, these guys are Vikings. I mean, that's Vikings pretty good. I don't know if a tiger can beat a Viking. Um, going back to your question, uh, what was your question? Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That was an amazing answer. Uh, for, for one, the Cougars versus Cougars is an intriguing aspect, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so they scored 49 points. Right. Okay, what, I'm back. I'm back. What what can what concerns you most about their explosive offense? Yeah, they're they're a really good offense. I mean, they scored every time they had the ball that they didn't give it a, give it away, you know, which is which is the telltale sign of a really good offense. Um 
I think we're, we're preparing for a lot of things. We're preparing to, to be ready for anything that they can throw at us. Um, you, when you're playing a team, you gotta, you gotta recognize what they want to do, but then you also got to recognize what they've, what they've seen done to you and what they're going to try to do. So we're also taking that into account as a defense. Um, we need to make sure we keep their quarterback bottled up. We don't want him running around. If you, if you watch the game, you saw that, you know, their, their offense was put in positions where they were third and long. And, and this guy who doesn't look, maybe doesn't look like, you know, uh, one of the faster quarterbacks he, and he ran for, for a lot of yards. So I think we, I think personally as a defensive lineman and as a defense, that's one of the things we need to focus on is, is making sure that we have a good quarterback trap. We keep him in there. Um, and that we're ready for him to, to, to scramble under pressure. No question, when you get pressure with those three- and four-man fronts, it makes everything better for the defense. That said, you're going to have to do it without one of your boys, Lorenzo Falate, who unfortunately is going to sit out the rest of the season. How do you make amends for losing a big piece like that? Yeah. Um, first of all, with, with Lorenzo, it's emotional for the defensive line. We, we really love him. He's, he's a big part of our defensive line. Um, and you guys know that he's in, in high pressure situations and, and really important situations. We want him in the game. He's, he's a good football player. So that it hurts us emotionally. First of all, um, we're going to have to make up for it. We're going to have to, to take some of the chances that Zoe would have taken um, and, and try to make those plays. But uh, we're, we're going to come back. A, a, a defensive line isn't one person. It's, it's not just Zoe. It's not just Kyrus. It's not just me or Batty or anybody else. We're a unit. Um, but yeah, it's it's sad to see him go. I hope to see him back before the end of the season. I, I think you'll be surprised. I hope you'll be surprised. Um, he's a good football player, and and it does it does hurt us, but we'll 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 overcome. Why do you feel like BYU is going to show up and play a better overall game against Houston compared to what happened against UTSA last Saturday? Yeah, I mean it's easy it's easy to look at the the score of the game and and feel like uh, and feel like it was tight and that we didn't play well. Um, but I, I just don't think that's the case. I mean, we had a couple of, a couple of botched plays. If you, if you take those out, um, and they were mistakes, I'm not saying they weren't mistakes. Um, but if you take those out, it's, it's a sick, it, they, they scored six points, you know? So, and nothing against UTSA. They, they played their hearts out. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that, but, um, we clean up, we clean up three or four mistakes and, and that game's exactly what you guys all expected it to be. So I definitely wouldn't be like, Oh, the, the last week was, was really tight. And what's going to happen now? Are you guys going to play a better game? We played a great football game. You watch the tape, everybody graded out really well. We had a couple of, of mistakes and, and, and they started up front when we were jumping off sides first and foremost, and we'll, and we'll get that right. And we'll be more disciplined. Bracken out back with us on BYU sports nation Bracken. When you take the field at Houston on Friday night and you're wearing the Royal pants and white tops and helmets with gray face masks, I mean, this is a throwback to the seventies. How do you expect it to feel? Because a lot of guys say, look good, feel good, play good. Are you in that category? I mean, anyone that's seen me on campus knows that I'm not in that category. <laughs> Anybody that's seen the way I dress up for the games knows that I'm not in that category. My wife was always like, why do you wear that stuff? Like, everybody looks cool. Why don't you look cool? Like, everybody puts the armbands on and, and, and wears the cutoffs so their arms are pumping. I don't know if you've ever, you probably don't notice, but I always wear the long sleeve tees. I wear the long tights. I wear the big knee pads and thigh pads. You know, I <laughs> rarely do my hair. We don't, I hope my mom doesn't see that. I do, I mean, I do do my hair. It is cut, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm not in that category. But for the guys that are, I hope we play well because of it. Fair enough. I love that response. And uh, before you go, just so you know, the mascots upcoming are the Texas State Bobcats after you <laughs> face the Houston Cougars and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. So prepare oh my... yourself for that one. Hey, Hilltoppers. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. Would you? I don't even know. Is that a person? Is it a house? What are they like a like a homestead? Like they're on the top of the hill? I'm gonna have to do some. Re I'm gonna have to do some research on that one before I You'll can have accurately to. answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Bracken, great to talk to you, man. Best of luck in Houston. Take some BYU Sports Nation karma, extend it to your uh, defensive brethren, and we'll see you in uh, Houston on Friday. Thank you.